For latest astrology video subscribe astrodify channel and press this bell icon to get notified when a new video goes live. Hello everybody welcome to astrodify today we are going to talk about mercury in 5th house what kind of common results we can see if mercury is placed in 5th house in anybody's case good and bad both. So let's start this video. If you want to book a consultation for yourself, you can go on this website. The link is given in the description. So, and any of you who are interested in uh, religion, spirituality, philosophy, I have already made two new channels in Hindi as well as English. Their links are shown in the card section above as well as given in the description below. Uh, we are discussing various things uh, from various perspective about the common questions which arise in people's minds sometimes like who am I? Is there any God? Is there any meaning or purpose in life? Is there any ultimate reality? Those kind of things. So uh, there we are going to uh, talk about uh, these questions from various perspectives, from various schools of thoughts, uh, Eastern as well as Western philosophies. So right now we are discussing Advaita Vedanta. And if you are interested in uh, these uh, subjects, uh, I'll recommend you to uh, watch those videos, subscribe the channel, and I hope that you will learn a lot from them. So let's come back to the topic and talk about Mercury in 5th house. So two things which we are going to discuss, two situations. One is Mercury is in 5th but it is well placed making good combinations and second it is afflicted and not well placed so much. So first situation we will discuss that Mercury is well placed and is strong. By this I mean that Mercury is in 5th house in own sign, exaltation sign, friendly signs. It is in association with Kendra houses, Kendra lords or Trikona lords uh, or uh, at the same time it is uh, not uh, associated with 6th, 8th or 12th lords. Then the zodiac sign in which it is sitting, the lord of that sign should be well placed in the chart and ascendant lord, sun and moon, they must be strongly placed or well placed in the chart because sun, moon and ascendant lord govern the fundamental strength of the chart. No matter how good your other planets are, if sun, moon and lagna lord are weak or damaged, the entire strength of the chart goes down even if you are running the dashas of good planets you won't see the expected results uh, in your life so uh, uh, you have to check the condition of sun moon and ascendant lord uh, primarily before assessing any other planet in the chart so if I, all these situations which i said so far they satisfy then it means that mercury is well placed in the fifth house and it can fetch quite good results in life so what we can see here is that first of all fifth house and mercury both represent intelligence education learning memory wisdom so mercury if it is strongly placed in the fifth then it is excellent for uh, giving intelligence uh, learning capacity knowledge very good for doing good education from uh, quite good colleges reputed colleges in life and when I say not just education, it gives high curiosity for various subjects. You can do any degree in a particular subject, but that is just a formal education. Mercury in fifth house, Jupiter in fifth house, they are considered excellent from bringing, for bringing curiosity in person to know about the things in life, to know about various uh, subjects in life. Uh, so it uh, gives knowledge, curiosity uh, of multiple subjects. In, 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 the, uh, in the life of the person. Then it's uh, good for giving good memory levels, writing capacity, wisdom, insight, smartness, logic, reason, calculation, ability, analytical uh, uh, approach. Uh, then it is good for giving out of the box thinking or innovative thinking. Fifth house is creativity also, creativity and innovation. So Mercury in fifth house can give a uh, kind of thinking where you can think in a new uh, innovative way whatever may be the field so that is quite supportive so you can see that mercury in fifth house is considered excellent because of these things then fifth house is also considered the specific house for education and learning so there are various streams or line of uh, uh, areas for education doing the education or uh, doing the work or career so it can be management and administration, banking, financial service, insurance industry, anything related to money, accounts, commerce, economics. Uh, it is excellent for engineering. If the yogas for engineering are there, Mercury is mathematics as well. So it is good for science, engineering, technology, particularly IT, electronics, communication, computer science and electrical. Uh, these are the fields or aerospace. These are controlled by Mercury itself. Mathematics also. Then. Uh, Mercury in 5th house can also uh, be considered very good for media, mass communication, entertainment industry, uh, 
मार्केटिंग एडवर्टाइजिंग राइटिंग जर्नलिज्म म्यूजिक हाँ और आर्ट्स पर्टिकुलरली लैंग्वेजेस एंड लिटरेचर बिकॉज मरकर इज लैंग्वेजेस देन इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी फ्रूटफुल फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन सो इट कुड बी फैशन डिजाइन इंटीरियर डिजाइन प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन ग्राफिक डिजाइन एनी काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन मरकर इज गुड फॉर दैट बिकॉज फिफ्थ हाउस एंड लाइक वीनस इज ऑल्सो देयर देन इट कैन शो वी हैव टू सी अदर योगाज एज वेल देन इट इज एक्सीलेंट फॉर बींग इन टीचिंग एंड एजुकेशन सेक्टर यू कैन बी अ टीचर प्रोफेसर और अ लेक्चर इन कॉलेजेज और यूनिवर्सिटीज और स्कूल्स सो टीचिंग एंड एजुकेशन सेक्टर देन इट इज एक्सीलेंट फॉर वर्किंग इन सच जॉब रोल्स वेयर यू नीड टू थिंक सो वी कैन सी कंसल्टिंग पीपल हु वर्क इन कंसल्टिंग कंपनीज लाइक कंसल्टेंट्स एडवाइजर्स हु आर रिसर्चर्स हु वर्क इन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट uh it is also considered very good for uh, psychology uh, sports and uh, fitness so these are the areas you need to see the yogas for all of them are different but mercury in fifth house can help uh, in any of these fields depending on the placements in the horoscope then fifth house mercury is also very fruitful for giving good success not only in education but also in career both the things you have to see the combinations huh for career you need to see 10th and 11th lords so how they are and other combinations then it if mercury is good and other yogas are fine it brings quite good name reputation and respect in the field where you work then uh apart from that fifth house is uh, children and relationships so mercury is considered good for relationships although mercury is not a very emotional planet so mercury can show that a relationship which is more uh associated on a intellectual scale so it it is considered very fruitful for bringing intellectual compatibility rather than just uh, 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 being uh, attracted because of just emotional or physical uh, level so that is mercury uh, but the point here is that if mercury is good in fifth house it gives uh, good re- relationships uh, meeting with people with whom you share similar mindsets and a uh, good company of friends also it gives quite good company of people in life wherever you work or study it gives good uh, uh, social circle as well it is looking at the 11th house so 11th house is the uh, 5th and 11th house are friends and social circle then uh, it is also considered fruitful for uh, childbirth uh, you have to see the combinations how it is uh, because mercury individually is not considered very important and favorable for uh, child easily because mercury does not have a gender if other yogas are fine then it can show yes the child birth will be uh, easy and uh, the d- the birth of a healthy child can be seen if other yogas are somewhat tricky and not very well placed then it creates disturbances there so uh, overall if we see mercury in fifth house is considered very good keeping in mind the things which i said to you if they are if mercury mercury will definitely bring them the more it is well placed the more good yogas it is making the better you will see all kind of results which we discussed for good mercury now we'll talk about if mercury is damaged in fifth house now by damaged i means that it is not well placed it's let's suppose it's in enemy signs uh, or it's completely debilitated and the, and no niche bhanga is happening uh, then uh, mercury is uh, uh, afflicted by sixth eighth or twelfth lords uh, mars saturn rahu ketu completely combust uh, while being in bad signs or retrograde while being in bad signs Uh, the zodiac sign in which it is sitting the lord of that sign is badly placed in the chart then it is hemmed between malefic planets means it is uh, entering into a strong papakartri yoga then uh, at the same time uh, if the sun moon and ascendant lord are also not well placed more mercury will lose strength and it will become negative so mercury in fifth house if it is weak and afflicted and it is not receiving support from the zodiac sign in which it is sitting the lord of that sign and sun moon and ascendant lord then it will have a uh, potential loss of strength and the more it will be negative in the chart the more negative tendencies it will bring in life so the thing here is that several results can be seen so mercury in uh, this case can bring several problems so it can show either language or learning problems in the person delayed or troubled speech uh problems in concentration 
attention deficit decision making is very poor difficulty in logic and reason uh, or mathematics and analysis poor education or education suffers a lot gaps happen or education does not get complete uh, completed at all uh, then it can show slow mental mental faculty means it takes a lot of time to grasp something and understand something delayed understanding can be seen uh, so any of these issues either them they can be seen or it can show that if it is uh, uh, damaged then it can show kubuddhi kubuddhi means wrong use of intellect and knowledge crab mentality negative tendencies in the thinking patterns uh, it makes person clever uh, and smart and int intelligent but you are never going to use it for the right means it is always going to be for selfish greedy purposes so it enhances the level of greed selfishness uh, cunningness uh, deceit uh, and uh, uh, at the same time it enhances the level of manipulation and lies and uh, person does not have a sense of right and wrong it will always be like what i want it should happen uh, whether by right means or wrong means i don't care about that so that kind of thing can be seen and at the same time person thinks uh, ego because of knowledge that okay what i know uh, and what uh, my thinking is uh, i am right always so that is also a negative feature of mercury here that person tends to think that their that the, the their viewpoint that their perception is supreme and they are always right other people are idiots then another point here is that mercury in fifth house can also make person if it is damaged by rahu or saturn excessively then it can enhance uh, the negative traits which we discussed before but also enhances the level of ungrateful nature uh, your relationship with teachers will be bad or teachers will won't be there even if they are there they you don't have uh, good relations with them some or the other way then uh, it also shows success in life but through corruption and malpractices not through uh, uh, going on the right pathway uh, then uh, at the same time it can make person hypocrite two faced hypocrite person can be seen with this then uh, it can give bad harsh abusive speech if it is uh, also influencing the third house because mercury is uh, communication or it can show a a, a a style of communication which is very persuasive very charming a smooth talking behavior but it's for uh deceiving or taking advantage of another person for that so th th that kind of thing can be seen then it creates troubles to or with siblings friends teachers uh yeah many them they can be seen so troubles to them or troubles with them can be seen or uh, same thing with the children as well fifth house of children troubles in relationships either the relationships don't happen or uh, they uh, even uh, if they happen they don't sustain so relationships suffer and uh, uh, another point here is that uh, it gives bad company uh, addictions of all kinds particularly all kinds of addictions but particularly like gambling or people who invest a lot of money in a stock market and they lose and they invest again and they lose so addiction to that that can be seen and losses due to high greed will be there losses due to high greed will be there then health problems can be seen particularly related to spine skin nervous system mental problems of all kinds fertility issues childbirth problems troubles to the children anything is possible in the fifth house so these are negative results of course for mercury you need to see the chart in entirety don't jump to conclusions just for the fact that okay mercury let's suppose mercury is debilitated so mercury is bad no that is not the rule you have to see how the yogas are and overall how other plants are making the combinations it is all dynamic and it changes and it varies from person to person then you arrive at a proper conclusion that okay this is how mercury in my case is behaving in general so i have just given you a overall view a general uh, uh, possibility of single planet in a single house good and bad both so that is uh, my uh, uh, target here to show you that okay one planet can give so diverse results by while be, being in the same house so i hope you understood all the things which i said so far uh, and we uh, dealt with mercury in the fifth house positive and negative results both that is all from my end today if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my website facebook page and instagram their links are given in the description otherwise we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank you